So, welcome back to the talk live on Talk TV. Now, remember when, before the big Atlantic split, leaked documents revealed that Meghan Markle had been hit with bullying claims by royal staff? Well, we may never know how that saga panned out. Buckingham Palace has now concluded its investigation into how it handled allegations, but the findings will remain private. All we know is that it resulted in changes to policies and procedures, which would also be known to all members of staff and all members of the royal family. Meghan's representatives haven't commented on the development, but the Duchess strongly denies all bullying allegations. But do the British public deserve to know more about this investigation? I, I guess the point about it is that if you have an investigation, what's the point in doing it, saying we're going to do it? I know that the Queen said it would be a matter dealt in private, but what's the point in doing an investigation if you don't at least give people a top line as to this is what we investigated, this is what we found out, this is what we're going to do. Otherwise, here is this institution that at the very top of society, somebody has been accused of something and either they haven't done it, in which case we should clear their name, or they have done it and we need to know how it's been fixed and how people have been looked after. Because otherwise, if you're just going to say, we're the royal family, we're uh, rich and famous and therefore we can behave in this way, but you can't. You can't really lead society like that. I just think it's, I think it's a terrible mess. Uh, Mike, do you think it's a yeah, mess? I think it is a mess. I think the public deserve to know, as you say, what they've discovered, because apart from everything else, we fund them, so we should know what's going on. It must be pretty bad news if you're one of the people who uh, made a complaint of bullying, because we know people did, whether they were founded or not to have done so. So they're all now being told, basically, don't bother reporting these people for bullying, because but, nothing will be done. Well, no, that's not necessarily the case. Because they could have said, I'm, I, you know, I've been bullied. I'm, I'm not saying this is what happened. But you could say, I've been bullied, and you look at it and you go, well, hold on a second, I'm not sure that that's actual no, bullying. But, yeah, but, yeah, that's, but, no, what no, I'm but saying people is, have, have reported it. No, I it know they such. have but reported it. This report was into how the palace handled the reports. It was not yes. looking at the substantive yes. allegations of bullying. bullying. Right. But yeah, isn't that but, even I mean, worse, that's what I'm then. saying. So if you've been bullied, or you feel that you've been bullied, and plenty of people feel that they've been bullied when maybe they haven't, they're going to be sitting here right now. Oh, you, yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah, I think David's horrible to you all the time. But the point is, is that you'd you'd want something more than this. But, they was, mm. but well, isn't isn't a part of the problem the fact they didn't have an HR? Well, they didn't have anybody you could actually go to well, who was one person. The, but I think the had palace is desperate to move on. The fact is that Meghan thrives on oxygen of publicity. So I think what the palace wants is now that they are no longer in the country. I think the palace is very carefully and very cleverly actually saying we've dealt with it if there are hr issues within the palace we'll deal with it but actually enough is HR, enough HR, and quite HR, frankly HR. i'm sick and tired of talking about her <laughs> uh, uh, yeah but do, don't you think though that this is one of those things though where it is uh, as you say there's a there's a, a definite move by the palace to to deal with the oxygen levels but also though i i think there is um a certain response by many of the courtiers who do not want to be seen as out of touch, don't want to be seen as part of the institution that needs reform and needs change, because it does. And in fact, I think one of the things that we're beginning to learn about the royal household and family is that, of course, there are some great things about it, and I'm sure we'll talk about other aspects of it, but it's got to change and it can no longer operate in this environment that means that there isn't scrutiny. It doesn't matter whether it's the royal family or any other institution. You cannot have um, allegations made about conduct of people within that organisation and not have them dealt with properly. You, you have to lead from the front. I mean, I also think that one of the reasons why they won't be publishing the details about this is that there's probably aspects that, that reflects really, really badly on, on the palace. And, and whatever your personal views are on Meghan Markle, there's lots of people who think she was treated really badly. Mm. And I know people, uh, and Penny probably does as well, who have worked around the various palaces. Uh, and there isn't any HR. It's very antiquated practices. And in terms of these bullying investigations, the problem for the palace, I agree with you, there should be transparency. And I do agree with Mike's point. If you are found guilty of bullying, you should be transparent and you yeah. should suffer the consequences. Mm. Yeah, our own Home Secretary was found guilty of bullying. <laughs> and the guy who found her bullying, he had to leave. <laughs> but that's, but but that's, that's, that's the problem, though, within politics, yeah. isn't it? Which, which means that we've got all these Culture problems. Exactly. Politics, the royal family, where things seem to be able to go on and it's not dealt with. You have think, to tackle it. I think there's also this problem as well. Don't you think there's also this problem? We now know that um, Harry and Meghan, I love calling them Harry and Meghan. <laughs> I know, so like you know them. them. Yeah, they're mates. <laughs> but they don't like but those no, royal titles. No, 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 no. But the point is, there's now sort of suggestions there's going to be another Oprah Winfrey interview. And I 
I, I mean, there's part of me wonders whether they, again, it's that oxygen of publicity, mm. as in, they want it, the, the, the palace wants it all to die down. They think that if they don't talk about it, that it will go away. But the problem is that you've only got to go show a little flash behind the curtain and everybody goes, no, we want to see really what's behind the curtain. And that's where we are now, isn't it? Yeah.